So that is something which is common for all. If you put that in an object, that is called a singleton object. But sometimes, if it is not common for all, but common for your uh, the class objects, like this is here, date, date is a common for any type of object. Whether it could be employee, whether it could be a person, whether it could be a vehicle, whether it could be uh, some product, whether it could be a market, whatever class, from a, every class you can call that date. That is that is a kind of singleton object. Now, so you have a class employee, and inside that employee, you want to maintain some constants for all the employees. Then you can declare class employee is there and you want to maintain a constant only for employee class that is object employee. And this, if you declare this object employee immediately after your class employee, this is also singleton only. Anything that you declare with object keyword, that is a singleton object. That's already an object. You can't create another instance of that object. This is also singleton. And since this is accompanied by this class, we call that as a um, companion object and one uh, not one um, yeah so the two features for the companion objects is that uh, this is as good as anything that you declare inside your companion object employee this can see all the things that you have declared in your companion class and anything that you have declared in your companion class can be visible from companion object, irrespective of your access specifiers. If it is uh, anyway public, uh, then I don't need to explicitly specify that, right? Anyway, from everywhere you can access. So. This, this, if you have with the same class name, an object declared in the same file immediately after the class, logically, logically, I mean, the code-wise, you see this like it, two, two things. One is a class and another one is object. But logically, you can feel it like, so this is inside of this only, and this is constant portion, which is common for all the employees. And anything that is present inside this, you can very well access inside your class. And anything present inside this, you can very well access inside your object. And let's see an example for that. That, that makes your uh, understanding a bit easy. Okay. So this pizza uh, companion object that we have seen, um, let's say um, I have this. Um, there is nothing that I can, nothing specific here. This we have already talked. Okay. Uh, let me show you the next example. Let's say I have this example. Okay. Just I'll take this. Out into my notepad. Or I will take this into a case, okay? You guys can. Companion test.
just let me control A, control shift F. Okay. Now, so I have a class called A. Okay, let me make this and object called this is an object, okay? And this is of A. Self-constructor arguments cannot reference the end unconstructed this. Are there any other classes that cause any problem? Okay. You have okay. a class A in some other program, I guess. That's yeah. A class A already declared in other yeah. Um, the other thing in that. So I. I'm able to one. Please give us the back. Call them. Uh, call them very strongly. Um, yes, some. What? Uh, is it is it okay now? Okay. So here, secret is is a private val. So that means that that should be accessible only inside your class foo. But so object foo, if you see, I have declared a method in this def double foo. Passing the object of this foo and the foo dot secret star two, you can access that. But if you try to access the same way, we we already seen this, right? So if you create an object of foo class and try to access the secret variable from this foo object, we were not able to do that. But this guy is able to do that. So that's the speciality of your companion object. And the difference between companion object and just the singleton object. Here, driver is also a singleton object, right? So I declare this as an object driver. Object driver is a singleton object. This is just a singleton. This is not a companion. But who is it's a singleton companion object since it is having same name that's why from with um, from its companion class it can access everything foo dot secret dot start to it was able to do and whereas in another singleton object I'm not able to see that I hope the difference is clear. And similarly, the way your companion object accessing your companion classes attributes, the reverse, the vice versa is also true. Meaning, if you have anything inside your companion object, that can also be accessible from your class. You just see this example from here itself. So I have a class foo. Inside this, I have a method, print obj, and I'm printing println. So I can see 
dollar foo dot obj. So this foo is a singleton object name. This object dot variable name obj. Private val. This is again a private val. Obj. So ideally speaking, this should not be accessible outside of this block since this is a companion. So you are able to access this this foo dot obj in the class foo as well. But if you try to access the same foo dot obj here, you'll not be able to. Okay, I, I can just declare this function. Uh, one basic question, uh, I don't know. So when you uh, say uh -huh. when you say foo on uh, this uh, driver object, single turn object, how you are saying this is single turn object? What is the difference between the uh, the object and the single turn object here? Yeah, so object, a regular object is something that you create with a new. New okay. new uh, keyword. Okay, right? okay, all right, all right. Yep. And anything that you declare with the object that is a singleton. Okay, okay, yeah, continue. Thank you. Yep. So F dot print OBJ is is allowed. Just try to see dot print obj is accessible so that means that even though this is a private to this and this guy can access that so that's two points about companion object and its companion class